Hey everyone, so today we're gonna check out this new talking avatar that just came out from the multi talk framework team. It called Infinite Talk. It's an audio driven video generation tool for creating talking avatar videos, which basically means it uses audio to drive the motion in the video. The cool thing about this framework is one of its key features it can generate videos of infinite length. That means we're not stuck with just 10 or 15 seconds anymore. We can go for minutes, even longer, as long as your computer has enough RAM and VRAM to handle it. The way it works is pretty similar to the earlier versions of Multitalk. It's still audio-driven, generating videos from image to video with natural lip-syncing and enhanced body motions while the character talks. Today, we're gonna see how it runs inside Comfy UI since it's supported through the WAN Video Wrapper custom nodes before we start our Comfy UI, let's check out some previous testing video that I generate before this video tutorial. Healthcare admins, grab your clipboards because AI is about to send your paperwork to the shredder. In 2025, AI is taking over medical billing, scheduling, and all the boring stuff you thought was your job security. A study says 25% of admin tasks could be gone by 2035. Poof, just like that. AI is out here booking appointments and coding claims faster than you can say, insurance nightmare. Meanwhile, doctors and nurses are safe because, let's be real, no one wants a robot giving them a pep talk before surgery. But you, billing specialist, AI is like, I got this, Karen, go file your nails. Healthcare's leaning so hard into AI, they might start diagnosing your career as obsolete. Better learn to code or, I don't know. Well, well, well. Tech bros, your coding dreams just got a reality check. By mid-20225, AI swung the axe on 80,000 tech jobs. Intel, Microsoft, you name it, they're all like, sorry coders, our bots got this. Software engineers and data nerds are out here dusting off their resumes because AI's writing better code than your average Silicon Valley bro. 80,000 layoffs. Oh, marketing mavens and content creators, AI's stealing your sparkly Instagram filters. In 2025, Generative AIs out here, writing ad copy, designing logos, and basically doing your whole job while you're still picking a font. Entry-level marketing gigs, down 15% because AI is churning out TikTok campaigns faster than you can say, viral. You thought you were creative. AI's like, hold my pixels, I'll whip up a Super Bowl ad in 30 seconds. Vogue got roasted for using AI models, and now your graphic design jobs on the chopping block too. Sure, they say human creativity's still king, but tell that to the bots spitting out 500 blog posts a day. Marketers better start practicing your strategic oversight face because AI's got your mood board and it's not giving it back. Welcome to the creative apocalypse. Hope you're good at supervising robots. Well, congrats, class of 2025. You got your diploma and AI got your job. July 2025 data says college grad unemployment is spiking because AI is out here snatching entry-level gigs like customer service and data entry. Oh, you spent four years studying marketing? Too bad, Chad. A bot's making TikTok ads now, and it's better at it. AI's like, thanks for the degree, but I'll take it from here. Meanwhile, experts are yapping about reskilling and universal basic income. Reskilling? What, you want me to learn AI Whisper as a career? And UBI? Sure, I'll take free cash, but I'd rather not have a robot steal my job in the first place. College grads, meet your new boss, a server rack with an attitude. Good luck out there. In order to get started, all you gotta do in Comfy UI is update the WAN video wrapper to the latest version if you are existing users, and it'll have the code supports infinite talk. Otherwise, download the WAN video wrapper from GitHub. Once you've updated, you'll need to download the infinite talk model files for this lip-syncing video generation. I got mine from the official Hugging Face repository for infinite talk. Just go to the file versions and you'll see a folder labeled Comfy UI. That's the one with AI models exported specifically for Comfy UI. Inside, you'll find two files. One is infinite talk single and the other is infinite talk multi. Pretty straightforward. One's for a single person talking avatar and the others for multiple people. Today, we're keeping it simple and going with the single talking avatar. Just want to test out how the lip syncing works and check the overall performance of this AI framework. So once you download the infinite talk single safe tensor files, drop them into the diffusion model subfolder. This is inside the comfy UI models folder. 
I've organized my downloaded model files into a separate folder there, so I just put both model files in there. After that, you can load them into the WAN Video Wrapper custom nodes. Now, jumping back to the browser, let's see how it runs once we get started with Comfy UI. The easiest way to run Infinite Talk for lip syncing is to use the example workflow that comes with the WAN Video Wrapper. After you update the custom nodes, you'll notice the multi-talk nodes have changed. The names now show up as multi-talk and infinite multi-talk, and for image embed, that means it supports both the older multi-talk framework and the new infinite talk one. It lets you take a starting image and use an image to video method to generate the talking avatar video, like the one you're seeing right here. But for now, we're focusing on the basics, image to video. As you can see, it supports multiple people and multiple audio inputs. This feature started with the original multi-talk framework, and Infinite Talk keeps that same setup. You can input multiple audio tracks of people talking and assign reference target masks for the objects you want animated in the video. But for now, we're keeping it simple. To get started, you can use the image to video model from WAN 2.1. You can pick either the 14B sized AI model use a GGUF quantized version, or just the regular safe tensor model, whatever works for you. By default, it uses the image to video light X2 VLORA model to speed things up. You can lower the sampling steps to cut down generation time. For the multi-talk or infinite talk model loader, we're selecting the infinite talk model. Since I'm doing a single person, I'll pick the single version. The rest is pretty standard, block swap, torch compile settings, VAE, clip text encoder, all the same as what we used with the previous multi-talk models for talking portrait videos. Based on the example workflow, I made a few tweaks to make it better. I separated the models, conditions, and samplers so it's easier to track progress while the AI does its thing. I also created additional workflow inspired by my previous tutorial talk about multi-talk long content video generator idea, creating a podcast style video. I used Alama to generate the content here, and then I can either load that content or type in my own text. There's a bypass group that acts as a switch, so you can choose either option, and then it passes the text to the text-to-speech node. This time I'm using Chatterbox SRT Voice. It's part of a custom nodes pack I found on GitHub. I'll link it in the video description. The original Chatterbox project seems to be broken and doesn't work with the latest Comfy UI updates, so I switched to this SRT version. It works the same way. It takes the language model's response or your manual text input, then calculates how long the video should be based on the generated audio. For example, if the audio is 48 seconds, it passes that length to the sampler, so everything stays in sync. You'll see all these values, length, FPS, audio, updating dynamically. Then comes the sampling step. I set mine to four, which is the default sampling setting. There are still some minor issues, like fast blinking or eye flickering, but I'll fix that later with frame interpolation to double the FPS, which makes a big difference. The way this talking avatar framework works is way better than the old multi-talk. You can see the character not only talks, but also uses natural body language, like turning their head side to side. Infinite Talk handles those motions really well, Back at the start of the workflow, I labeled each section with numbers. Step one, step two, then you are going to text to speech. You don't have to input text here if you're using Alama to generate content, otherwise just type in your script. For this example, I'm going with a topic about how AI is affecting retailers these days. I'm using a different image for the avatar and setting the dimensions. I went with 480p by default, makes it easier for everyone to run. I noticed some people had trouble with 720p in earlier tests, so 480p should work for most setups. Up here, you'll see two inputs, speaker name and topic. These are for Alama to generate content. If you're not using that, just type in your own voiceover script. All you really need is a reference voice, basically an audio sample to clone the voice. I'll pick this one to match my avatar. First, we generate the audio from the text. Like I said, I'm not using Alama this time, I'm typing the script myself for more control. Once the audio's ready, it calculates the video length and moves on to the sampling step in one video. 
This one's about 52 seconds long. Let's check out the result. The generation came out pretty smooth. No major glitches like we sometimes saw with multi-talk. Back then, the character would sometimes overreact or make weird movements. This time, it feels way more natural overall. After doubling the FPS with frame interpolation, the motions and lip syncing got even smoother. Let's play it and see how the timing and lip sync match up. Hey, retail warriors, put down that price scanner because AI's clocking in for your shift. In 2025, customer service and retail are getting a big fat you're fired from AI. Self-checkout kiosks and chatbots are out here replacing cashiers and support reps like it's a clearance sale on jobs. Over 80,000 retail layoffs this year, and AI's the assistant manager calling the shots. You ever try arguing with a chatbot? It's like yelling at a brick wall that says, have you tried restarting your life? Job postings for customer service are tanking, and those self-checkout machines? They're scanning groceries and your career into oblivion. Unexpected item in the bagging area? Retail folks, better hope your people skills are better than a bot's, because AI's got no patience for Karen's coupon tantrums. Time to pivot or get bagged by the bot revolution. Yeah, it's looking pretty smooth throughout. Only thing is the eye blinking. It's not rendering perfectly. Might get better if we upscale the video later. But over the full 52 seconds, there are no broken arms or exaggerated movements like in the old multi-talk. The expressions are solid, enough to sync well with the audio and animate the portrait naturally. I should mention, this isn't just about moving lips anymore. The whole portrait gets animated. Facial expressions, head movements, body language, all synced to the audio. Right now, in the open source space for portrait animation, this is definitely the most up-to-date and best-performing option available. Plus, it's lightweight enough to run on local machines, even for long videos. And Infinite Talk was literally built for long-form content. That's its whole thing. During sampling, you'll see it processes the video in chunks. Each chunk is a few seconds long. For example, I set it to 81 frames per chunk, with 25 overlapping frames carried into the next chunk. That overlap is what keeps the animation smooth across the entire video. Same concept applies to long videos. The motion frames support up to 25 frames of overlap. All right, that's it for this video. Pretty simple setup, just like multi-talk, only now it's infinite talk with the updated model loader. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Have a great day. See ya.